Hi, this is Roisin from Sweet Eve Signs and today I'm going to show you how to design this Wild One Shadow Frame Banner in Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. Let's start with the Shadow Box Banner. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most of slicing and welding. So we're going to start off looking for our main banner. I will add the link in the description for this image number. Now we're going to delete some of the layers of this banner. So go ahead and delete the and and the pen layers as they will not be required. Now unlock your banner and make it slightly thinner. So making it longer but not wider. Now go ahead and duplicate this banner. Select the two parts of this shape and slice. Delete everything only leaving these small inner parts. Now apply an offset. Try 0.04. You may need to mess around with it to make it work for you. Now apply an offset again and make it slightly bigger. I went with 0.08 on this occasion. Now apply that same offset once more. Now change the colours to suit with your theme. Now group this frame and then you're going to need to delete the top banner and it will leave you with the bottom banner, contour and make sure you hide all. Then change the colour. As we have applied a few offsets you're going to need to change this border to make it fit within your main banner. Align centre and group. Now apply an offset on the outer banner part. I tried 0.1. Now duplicate the frame part of your banner only and then group and hide the other main part. Now go ahead and weld this shape and then we're going to duplicate it twice. This will give us the different layers for our shadow box. Now we're going to find an image, I will put the link in the description. We're going to bring in this image and it's a very, very long image. So what we're going to do is hide these two other parts of the banner because we're going to work with those later. And then we're going to go down and we're going to slide across until we find our giraffes. Now you need to grab a square from the shapes panel on the left hand side and unlock this square to allow you to be able to slice out this whole section. So once you've sliced, delete all of the grey areas and then you're going to need to hide the rest of the image, make sure not to delete as you will need it later. Just move your grass up to the right hand side and then grab another square and slice out your giraffes. Now you can see that there's some parts on the left hand side that we don't need. So again, just use the slice option and get rid of these. Now we will be left with our tree and our grass. Now we need to get rid of this bird and the top left hand corner, so just use the contour. And then we're going to have the three images that we need for our frame banner. Now I'm just using the zoom because sometimes you find that you lose things in design space. So just centre the back. And then you need to resize this tree to get it into a position that it looks nice. So you want to be able to see a majority of the tree. And as you can see, it's just slightly too wide. So again, I'm just gonna slice. I'm just gonna slice a small part off here. And then I'm just gonna delete the parts that I don't need. And I'm going to move my tree and my banner together. And again, just start resizing to get it into the right position. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to weld it. And then I'm going to change the colour and use the contour tool to get rid of the triangle at the bottom. Now unhide the other part of your banner. And now we're going to work on the giraffes. So as you can see, they're quite far apart. So in order to get them closer together, I'm just going to use my slicing tool and slice out one of the giraffes. 
Now delete what you don't need and move the two giraffes slightly closer together. And then you're going to need to align them at the bottom to make sure that they're in the right place. And then you can weld them. And then I'm just going to move my giraffes up. Excuse my design space glitch. I'm sure you're used to this. And I can see that they are just slightly too long. So again, I'm just going to use my slicing tool to get rid of a bit at the end. Now, before you weld, just put these two images together and group them and move them on top of the tree image, just so you can be sure that they're in the right position before you weld. When you're happy, weld and then use your contour tool to get rid of that triangle at the bottom. Then go ahead and change this to a different colour to the colour of the tree to make sure that there's a contrast. Align, centre and group. Now we're going to work on the last part. So we're going to unhide our frame and we're going to use our grass. So we're going to resize our grass. Now as this is at the front, we don't want to have massive gaps at the bottom. So I'm just going to resize my grass and I am going to recognise that it's probably going to be quite a bit too wide but that's okay. What I'm going to do is ask you to select these two images and then slice. Now go to the original grass image and hide the two triangles on either side. Now grab both of these images and weld. Make sure that you don't move anything or you'll have some strange gaps and then just change your color and move it to the front. And then align center and group. And this is the main part of your box shadow frame banner done. Unhide the rest of your banner and then we're going to duplicate the frame. And then we're going to weld this together. We're going to go to contour and hide all and we're going to change this to grey. And this will represent my acetate. Send to the back, align, centre and group. And then arrange using your centre the front, centre the back, align centre and then group all together. And that's your shadow box banner done. Now we're going to look for our next banner. I will put the link in the description and we're going to bring that into design space. What we're going to do is we're going to need to resize it slightly to make sure that it kind of matches the middle one. It doesn't have to be exactly the same but you want them to look in proportion. And then we're going to delete the pen option. We're going to go into the contour and hide the B on both of the layers of the banner. Now let's hide the shadow banner so that we can work on this one. So you're going to duplicate the first layer and then we're going to apply a slight inset, not offset this time. I can't really tell you the exact measurements because when you work between inset and offset, it goes a bit strange, but it is a very, very small inset. Then we're going to select both of these and then we're going to slice. We're going to delete the middle parts because they will no longer be required and then just keep the frame. Change the colour. And then we're going to go into the shapes panel on the left hand side and find this kind of half banner shape. And we're going to duplicate the first part of the banner and we're going to position these two images together. Make sure you align at the top and slice. And that's gonna give us an exact little part to stick on the front. Now we're going to be left with this. We can delete everything else and then just move this little banner part to the front of the frame that we just created. And then we're going to weld. Make sure that you have a duplicate because this is gonna be the one that you put at the front. Send to the front, align at the top, and then group. Now unhide the safari seam. And again, we're just gonna go across until we find these elephants. And we're gonna create the same process that we did before using the slicing tool to just slice out one of the larger elephants. Then we're going to delete everything else that we don't need. But remember to make sure that you hide the object um, on the left and that you don't delete it. So then we're going to be left with just our big elephant. Ignore this grass at the bottom, I actually decided not to use it. So again I'm just going to zoom out so I can find the rest of my design and then zoom back in again. 
So go ahead and duplicate this border. And then we're going to try and move our elephant into position. As I said, I ended up not using this grass, so just ignore what I'm doing here. Now we need to align it up and again we recognise that there will be a little gap at the bottom but that's absolutely fine. And we're going to repeat the process that we did before. So we're going to select the elephant and this border and then we're going to slice the two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the original image of the elephant and we're going to delete the two little triangles that are left on the left and the right hand side. Then we're going to select these two and we're going to weld them together. Now go into your contours and hide the little gap at the bottom. And then we're just going to arrange everything together. Now we're going to duplicate the first part of our banner and we're going to change it to grey and this will represent our acetate. And then we're just going to arrange everything into position where they would normally be and change the colours. Now duplicate the whole banner and delete the elephant so that we can use this for the next part of the banner. Now we're going to do the same and go over and find the rhino and slice him out and then just delete everything else because nothing else will be needed. We just need to flip him so that he's facing the other way and we're going to unlock him to position him where we want him to be. Just make sure that he is kind of in line with the elephant so that they look kind of symmetrical but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to repeat the same process again. So make sure to duplicate the main part of your border and then we're going to grab the rhino and the other part of the border and slice. We're then going to go to our contour and we're going to hide the two outer parts and then weld the rhino and the border together. change the colours and then go into contour and hide the part at the bottom. Then arrange. Now unhide the shadow banner. I just did this because I was trying to work out the text to see what I thought would look nice but you can still leave it hidden. Then go to your text. You're going to need to find Safari. I will put the link in the description. And then we're going to type out the word wild. Change the colour and as we're going to do an offset, try to make it as large as possible and ungroup and move these letters closer together. Group and then we're going to apply an offset. I tried 0 0.08. Apply this offset again. Then group all of these together and then resize. Then you can go ahead and change your colours to suit with your theme and create the process for the one. The reason why I make it larger is because you'll find the larger your word is, the more intricate your offset is. Now I forgot to mention at the time, make sure you duplicate the back layer of the wild and the one. This will just help us to build some dimension and then make sure you unhide everything in case any of your images are hidden. Now, actually I assembled this topper and when I did, I felt like it wasn't quite right. So I'm gonna add a few extra steps. So apply an offset to the back of each of the banners. Try 0.15 and change the colors accordingly. And then just hide the middle banner. Then you're going to duplicate the wild banner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply an offset to this. Make sure that you use the square corner and try 0.15. Then change the colors and arrange so that it sits in the right place. You're going to also need to delete the original part of the wild banner. 
Repeat the process for the one part of the banner. So apply an offset, make sure you use the square and then delete the original and arrange. Now unhide your box frame banner and then just arrange them. And there you have it, that's your wild banner done. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video helpful and there will be an assembly one available next week. Please make sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok and check out my other videos which so far have been mainly for cake toppers but I'm expanding a bit. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care and bye.